thank you. Good night. I hope you're happy. Bruh. Bruh. That shoot. Bro, I got chills, dog. What? 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 <laughs>what up what up what up night nation it's your boy stevie knight about to get on one of these things you feel me what's good my patreon family was cracking with y'all man y'all got me doing some different shit today well i mean bo burnham but it ain't rap it's uh it's some stand-up they big got 30 million views dog fuck fuck bro that boy that boy burnham something serious ain't he but anyway let's do it it's called uh can't handle this kanye rant so uh, yeah, let's get it. It, it looked like he had the show. It looked like he had the Apollo. Yeah, he had the Apollo. Look like. Oh, anyway, let's get it. I went to Kanye West recent tour, the Yeezus tour. It was a big, dramatic theatrical show. He did something very strange at the end of his show where he ranted for like 20 minutes. It was kind of a rant, kind of a song. He had auto tune on his voice, and there was an instrumental in the background, like this instrumental. He talked about his problems, race. Power. His $90 t-shirts weren't selling very well. That was most of it. And I watched this. I thought maybe I could do this. I'll be honest, my problems are not as high stakes as Kanye's, but I have problems. And maybe a crowd in New York would be nice enough to indulge me. So as we get to the end of a night of theater and comedy and sweaters coming on and off, I got one question for you. And that question is... Can I see my shit? New York, can I see my shit? I got lots of shit to say. I got lots of shit to say. Hey, buddy, tell him to the stuff, man. I can't fit my hand inside a Pringle can. I have a huge amount of trouble fitting my hand inside of a Pringle can. I can get my hand like four inches into the can, but then I have to tilt the can into my mouth. But by that point, a bunch of crumbs have accumulated at the bottom of the can. So they all go spill it out of my face. What I'm trying to say is the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. I'll say it again, the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. Two radiuses of a Pringle can is way too small. If you feel me, put your hands up. Come on. If you feel me, put your hands up. Look at all these hands that are way too big to fit inside a Pringle can. Your hands are too big to fit inside a Pringle can. Your hands are too big to fit inside a This motherfucker has it. The it factor. Whatever the fuck it is, however, however you define that shit, that boy got it. I.T., bro. Commanding the stage and creative out the ass, bro. He doing a whole Pringles cam scheme and got my motherfucking ass engaged like hell, bro. Your hands are too big to fit inside a Pringle can. Your hands are too big to fit inside a Pringle can. You think you can. And it sounds like some Kanye shit, too. Your hands are too big to fit inside a Pringle can. You think you can, I know you can. You think you can. Pringles, listen to the people. I am sure 90% of the complaint letters you get are about the width of your cans. Just make them wider. I've overdone the Pringles thing. Sorry. I wanna have a daughter. Wanna have a daughter. So I can finally have someone around the house who can fit their hands in a Pringle can. Yes, I'm still on the Pringle cans thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll move on, all right? This but is that cool. is priority numero uno. I don't go to the gym because I'm self-conscious about my body. But I'm self-conscious about my body because I don't go to the gym. Irony can be so painful. I was just thinking about that. Like, you self-conscious about your body so you don't go to the gym. But that doesn't make any sense to me. But I can see, and I'm going to look at me going all deep into what the fuck he just said. I realize that because I see why. I don't understand that for me and people who have the mind state that I have. 
because I'm active in the gym and I'm not self-conscious about my body. But I would think that those who are self-conscious about their body would not want to go to the gym and be around other folks who are active in the gym because they'll probably be looking at these fools crazy. Well, that's what, that's that's how the individuals that are self-conscious about their bodies feel. They feel like they're going to be judged by those in the gym who are active. But that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong, bro. Like, that's wrong. Ain't nobody about to be judging you by... I'm turning this into a night talk conversation. Ain't nobody going to be judging you in the gym by how you look. If you're in there working out, you are trying to get yourself better. That's the whole point. They're going to, motherfuckers will judge you walking out in the street looking crazy as hell, but you in the gym getting right, ain't nobody going to be judging you, especially the motherfuckers active. They're going to be like, yo, saluting you. Good job. I see you. You know what I'm saying? Taking control of your shit. Get right. You know what I mean? But that's just a mental... I, I can see how that could be a mental struggle for for someone that struggles with that. Look, I just answered my own question. Because I don't go to the gym. Irony can be so painful. That's a catch-22. Let's do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. I win at Chipotle, win at Chipotle. Got myself a chicken burrito. I went down the line, I got like all these ingredients, and then at the end of the line, the guy tried to wrap the burrito, but half of the shit inside the burrito spilled out, he still wrapped it. I was like, dude, you should have warned me. You're a burrito expert, you should have told me halfway through, hey man, you might be reaching maximum burrito capacity here. Do you think I want a messy burrito? No one wants a messy burrito. The whole appeal of a burrito is that all of the ingredients are contained within the confines of the tortilla. I wouldn't have gotten half this shit if I knew it was going to fit in the burrito, all right? Look, I wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit. I wouldn't have got, 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 got half of it like I'm okay with small mistakes. If you got no more chicken, I'll take pork. But I'll blow my dad before I eat a burrito with a fork. Wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew it wouldn't fit. Bro, I'm I'm thinking about all what all that took place to do this. He's he's creative as shit. He is creative as shit. I just admire creativity, bro. That's some outside the box thinking. Like I'm I'm low key off this Chipotle scheme, but tying it into the whole Kanye song, Kanye delivery. He's got he's got a beat similar to uh, damn. I th I th Damn, what song is this? That's going to piss me off because it's at the tip of my tongue. Kanye's best album. Uh, dun, 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 dun. That song. Yeah, he got a song sounding like Runaway. And then the whole little, whatever you call this. Lights all shining on him when he's hitting the bar in this game. This is cool, bro. Yeah, I see why he's I don't know if he's got the papers if I knew they wouldn't. Then I wouldn't have got half of it like I'm okay with small mistakes. If you got no more chicken, I'll take pork. But I'll blow my dad before I eat a burrito with a fork. Would have got the lettuce if I knew they wouldn't. I can sit here and pretend like my biggest problems are Pringle cans and burritos the truth is my biggest problems you i want to please you but i want to stay true to myself i want to give you the night out that you deserve but i want to say what i think and not care what you think about it a part of me loves you part of me hates you part of me needs you part of me fears you and i don't think that that's I can hard. That's 
bars, dog. That shit hit me doing this YouTube shit, bro. That, that, that's all facts. That's all facts. I'm trying to find that common ground between what I want and what y'all want and, and looking forward to doing shit and being fearful of putting some shit out. And, oh, that's hard, bro. But I, I'd imagine every person that creates content for public consumption struggles with that. But he hit the nail on the head with that. Perfect, bro. Bro, he's taking me everywhere with this fucking little performance he got going on, bro. Damn, Bo. All right, let's get it. Part of me hates you. Part of me needs you. Part of me fears you. And I don't think that I can handle this right now. Handle this right now. I don't think that I can handle this right now. Just shut up and do my job, so here I go. When they got the letters, if I knew it wouldn't When they got the cheese, if I knew it wouldn't When they got the peppers, if I knew they wouldn't When they got the You can tell them anything if you just make it funny, make it rhyme. And if they still don't understand you, then you will run it one more time. They got on your head all this time. Good night. I hope you're happy. Bruh. Bruh. That shoot. Bro, I got chills, dog. What? 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 Oh, that's one. Hey. Hey. This one stacks up there because it was unexpected, bro. I'm thinking he going to just be, you know, busting me in the face with some comedy shit bro and he just he went everywhere you could go but that what do you call that a monologue where he's just airing out his personal life man because you that one thing with these damn comedians bro they be having demons and comedy is a way for them to to get through that you know what i'm saying it's like therapy Instead of holding all that shit in, it's a way to get all that shit out, bro. And you can tell if Buddy's struggling. Or he was struggling during that point. Talking about his mental health issues, whatever. And he, he became as transparent as transparent can be. Letting you all the way in, man. And then that's when I was the most engaged in the performance. Yeah, he allowed you to see the world through his eyes. And... Like the insecurity and the vulnerability he had at that point, and he didn't want to, you know, put too much out there and push the audience away, you know, because the audience, I'm assuming the audience is there to see him, you know, perform comedy. And if you're not getting them, giving them what they want, he's taking a chance, letting you in, and he want to overstep. He don't. He don't want to overstep and do too much and put the audience off so he said all right i'm gonna shut up you know what i mean y'all probably didn't give a damn about this but you know ironically enough or coincidentally enough is it's either it's either ironic or coincidental because i don't know where the majority of the audience was sitting with this you no know, mentally i'd imagine a lot of them felt the same way i felt you know what I mean? Because people are, at the end of the day, people are human beings. You know what I mean? Having humanity. And there's no way somebody's going to, you know, share their life like that, share their insecurities and their concerns like that. And the majority majority of people are just going to shit on it. Like, I came to hear comedy. I don't want to hear this. Nah, bro. You have to be an evil motherfucker to do some shit like that. So that was genius on his behalf, man. And I bet you he's still insecure at the same time. But you, I mean... You'd you have to be insecure about that at the same time. You'd have to. You'd have to. But the blend of it, 
the, from 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 Pringles to Chipotle to that part to going back, the performance of it, the creativity, the the Kanye scheme, the auto tune, the bruh bruh. That's I'm gonna remember this. When, this is probably one of my favorite videos. Y'all let me see, bruh. Cause I, ain't, I it wasn't I was unexpected. Hit me in the mouth. Hit me in the mouth, bruh. I was I, he had me in there relating to what he was saying, bruh. <sighs> Fire, 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 fire. That was hard. That was hard. I definitely got, I got to post that one on, uh, this is going on the, on the, on the main channel, bro. For real. For real. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm out.